This story starts in Clarendon at the Container Store, where Jessica Maddox bought a jewelry box in August of 2019. I took it home, I opened it up, and there was jewelry inside. Not just any jewelry, but what appears to be a family heirloom. There was a beautiful diamond necklace um, with the inscription for Whitney, and it was her, I guess, her mother's necklace made into a uh, pendant for her own wedding. Jessica says she knew it needed to get back to its rightful owner. She says she took the jewelry back to the store, called the corporate office and checked lost and found Craigslist pages with no luck in tracking Whitney down. But it was always in the back of my head. Gosh, I really wish I could find Whitney. Um, and I just never really thought of I could never figure out how to find her. More than two years later, she joined a mom group on Facebook and realized that could be her outlet to find Whitney. And just like that, a renewal in her search. I mean, I know how sentimental jewelry can be. Whitney, if you're out there, you can email Whitney's necklace at gmail.com. So at long last, you can get your family necklace back. Hoping that there is a local Whitney who, you know, two and a half years ago went to uh, the container store in Clarendon. Um, so fingers crossed. In Clarendon, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.